In a design system, color plays an important role. You're capturing the colors for your brand and any other appropriate colors. Now in the assets panel, just like the character styles and components, you can save your colors, including solid colors, gradients, and even colors with opacity changes. Now there are several ways to go about saving colors for your design system. You can capture colors you've already created or create new colors and capture them in the assets panel. You'll start by making a new color and capturing that. So select the rectangle tool and draw a shape out here on the artboard. Now to fill it with a color, you can click the fill color in the property inspector. In the color picker that opens up, you can define a new color in a lot of ways. You can choose from different color modes here and then enter your values or you can visually select a color from here. Okay, with the color chosen, that color can then be saved in the color picker for later use. Now the colors saved here are different from the color saved in the assets panel and cannot be updated. So to capture the color, you can either click the plus in the colors category you see over here, or you can right click the object and choose add color to assets. You can see that both the fill and border color were captured. All right, let's make a copy of this object so we can add another color. With the select tool selected, option drag on Mac OS or alt drag on Windows, this rectangle. Go over to the property inspector and go ahead and make a new color. Capture the color in the assets panel. I'll just right click on it and choose add color to assets. With a few colors created, much like character styles, you can see the in list view in the assets panel, which you can see up here. You can drag your colors in an order that makes sense for your design system. You can also right click on a color and see where they're used in the document by choosing highlight on canvas. You can also make edits globally by right clicking and choosing edit. Now, if you want to add context to your colors, maybe to define specific use cases, you could also double click the name and change it with list view showing. One last thing when it comes to colors, you probably want to label them out there in the design system as well. You can just use the type tool, click to add a little text, and label it how you see fit. Now, if you already have a document and you've got a bunch of colors already created, know that if you have an existing project like you see here, you can select everything in the document and capture the colors at once. So if I press Command A on Mac OS or Control A on Windows, in the Assets panel, once again, you can click the plus here to capture all of the color from the selected content and do it at one time. With the colors created and saved, now you can move on to creating your iconography.